Hello, this is Scott from Sear Communications, and this is a quick instructional video on how to change out your IP desk phone for your IP cell base. Here are the items you should have received. The IP cell base, the cordless phone, the charger base, and the detailed instructions on how to use your cordless phone. One of the first things you should do is plug in the charger base, set the cordless inside the base, and let it charge up. It's probably a good habit to get into whenever you're not using the phone to put it in the base so it always has a full charge when you're ready for it. The phone does not have an on-off button so the batteries may be depleted by the time they arrive to your home. Swapping out the phone for the cell base is a relatively easy procedure. The first thing you'll do is collapse the phone, undo the clip, Disconnect the Cat5 cable, and this may take a little bit of work because we remember when we installed this, we fed the power cord through the little clips here, and then unplug the power cord. Next, turn the cell base around. There's only two connections in back. One is for the uh, Cat5 cable. The other one is for the power supply. And then turn the antennas up. When you first plug in the cell base, it'll blink red for a short time until it makes connection, and then it'll turn green. And believe it or not, that's it. To make a phone call, you hit the on button, press 9, dial 1, the area code, and the phone number. To use the speakerphone, hit the on button twice. The second time activates the speakerphone. Then dial 91, the area code, and your phone number. To dial an internal extension, all you have to do is hit the on button and then dial the three digit extension. To check your voicemail, you hit the on button, dial 165, and then it'll prompt you for your password and then you can use your voicemail like normal. To transfer a call, when you're on a call, hit the transfer button and then the three digit extension that you want to transfer to and then hang up. It would probably be beneficial to read the manual cover to cover. It'll give you a lot of good useful information on how to adjust different settings on the phone to your comfort level. And of course you can always call uh, us at Sear Communications and or email me and we'll be glad to go over any details. The only item you need to return to the office is the actual phone itself because we are using the power supply for the IP cell base. So this will be the only item you need to return to us.